Well, the Yankees lost again yesterday. They were shut out for the second time in three games and for the fourth time already in 23 games, and they have fallen out of first place. The Orioles now lead the AL East by a half game. So let's get your responses. I'm sure they're going to be reasonable, sober, and calm. Get the fuck out of here. I listened to your podcast after our loss, and I just think it was so negative. Let's not be Mets fans. What, do you want me to be all sunshine and rainbows after we get shut out again? Get the fuck out of here. I realize there's a lot of Yankee fans outside of this state, but, you know, let's pump, pump the brakes. You know, Judge had real, realistically eight bats in spring training because after the abdominal thing. And he also, in his two MVPs, seasons yes i count 17 he's had games of 50 where he hit like this but it his numbers were so huge you know it didn't stand out that's exactly what i've been saying i'm not sure how else you want me to say it aaron judge is going to be fine he didn't have much of a spring training he's off to a slow start he might not end up having that huge year that we all expected because of the lack of spring training but he's going to get going you're going to look up at the stats in June or July or whatever, and he's going to have 20-plus home runs, and he's going to be heating back up. He's probably not going to hit 300 this year now, but you know if he hits 260, 270 with his usual power going forward, I think we'll be fine. But yeah, I, I try my best not to be negative, but I can't help but be in a bad mood when the Yankees get shut out for the second time in three games and they drop out of first place. I mean, I'm a fan, just like everybody else. This is this is an ESPN. I don't have to be objective. I am a Yankees fan. That Anthony Rizzo, if you know the game and you watch the game, you see that he's in decline. All right, I was at a game one time where he made an out and got pissed off and ran to the dugout. Uh, this was in Anaheim. Ran to the dugout faster than he runs out a ground ball. You know, Rizzo. Hasn't squared a ball up in ages, but no one's talking about that, right? Sorry, I had to take an excerpt from that call because it was four minutes long and he introduced himself like six times. But I appreciate the call. A lot of people were worried about Anthony Rizzo, not just his offense, but his defense. His defense has been atrocious this year. I think we're just in a team slump. I mean, a lot of guys who started off hot are starting to cool off, like Anthony Volpe. And usually in baseball... Not everyone on the team is red hot at the same time. You usually get a couple of guys hot, a couple of guys cold. And as guys like Volpe have cooled off, we haven't had guys step up. We haven't had Judge step up. We haven't had Rizzo step up. You know, we've got a little bit out of Trevino, but nothing from Wells so far. Oswaldo Cabrera got off to that great start. He's been somewhat consistent, but we haven't had anybody else really come from you know, cold to hot. We've had some guys go from hot to cold, but we haven't had the reverse. So they need to get it going collectively as a group. Appreciate the call. Uh, these, these, these Yankees are horrible. I'm going to tell you what. Judge, if he was judged, he'd be guilty of being a loser. And same with Staten. They got to go. They're both a bunch of prima donnas, and they're always getting hurt. They got to go. Get the fuck out of here. Wow, uh, one of the worst takes I've ever heard. We're not going to trade Aaron Judge, especially not 20 games into the season. He's not a loser. He's our captain. He's just off to a slow start. He might be hurt. And even if he is hurt and struggling a little bit, he's trying to play through it. Doesn't make him a loser. Doesn't make him somebody the Yankees are going to trade. Let's just calm the hell down. The feet of the Yankees again. It's like you said many, many times. Not in a rant, but you can't score, you can't win. The last few games, pitchers have been outstanding getting through seven to eight innings. Then the bullpen lost the form again. Two runs here, two runs there, then they can't uh, capitalize. Honestly, you just identified a problem that you know, bothers me even more than the offense. I think the offense is going to come around, but the bullpen seems pretty thin. Caleb Ferguson has shown me nothing. 
And, you know, Nick Birdie, obviously they were counting on him. Once again, counting on a player who can't stay healthy. He's injured. Jonathan Loisaga, they were counting on him. He's out for the season. The problem, one of the major problems with the Yankees in recent years is they count on players on the roster who cannot stay healthy, especially pitchers, man. I mean, you can't have this many guys going down from your pitching staff every year. Hey, Derek, what's going on, man? This is Javier Ruiz from Las Vegas. Huge Yankee fan, man. Uh, really fan of the show. I love your content. Really, really good stuff you got there, man. Uh, I need to subscribe. I haven't subscribed yet. But you got a really good thing going on that I never miss. Uh, my comment is, you know, I think the problem here is just the consistency, man. I mean, we, we play some good games, but then we get shot out by DAs, man. That just cannot happen. Uh, another thing that I wanted to point out is, man, we cannot hit left-handed pitching, man. We just get dominated by left-handed pitchers. I mean, we just got dominated by JP Sears, which sucks, man, because I always like this guy. Appreciate the call, Javier. First of all, go ahead and subscribe. Just hit the button. It's free, and then it'll always pop up in your feed. The other thing is that JP Sears, I think, had good stuff yesterday and would have dominated a lot of teams yesterday. I kind of, you know, was disappointed when they dealt him as part of the Montas deal, but at the time, I felt like Montas might be a great piece to help get the Yankees over the top. Obviously, it didn't work out. Obviously, Brian Cashman and his staff felt the same way. Hey, look, some trades are a bust, and, and that one is certainly looking like a bust because Montas not on the roster anymore. He's pitching with St. Louis, and Sears is throwing blanks against us. But I really think that uh, Sears is going to be a good pitcher in this league. He's got really good stuff. It's deja vu all over again, my man. Uh, start off hot, and then things start to go downhill fast. Look, there is no possible way that Aaron Judge is going to be this ass over the course of an entire season. But there is the potential that we get hot individually and never get hot as a team. And in a situation like that, we're not going to make it much further than, than we have in the past. It's a valid concern. We've got enough guys that individually, if they get hot, these guys should be able to carry us for a little while. You know, Stanton can carry a team by himself if he's hot for a week. Juan Soto, we've seen he can dominate a series and carry the Yankees. But Aaron Judge is one of those guys who gets hot for two months and ridiculously hot for two months. We have got to get him to step up and get going. I don't know if it's an injury. I don't know if it's just timing because of the spring training thing. But whatever it is, he's got to figure it out. And against the A's, that's a team that you figure it out against because they're not exactly throwing, you know, great starter after great starter. Look for him to have a big day here in the next couple of days. Uh, I'm curious about your opinion, like, on changing the order. I know that a lot of people were calling for Boone to, like, leave the team because he was basically playing musical chairs with the lineup, like uh, changing the leadoff guy, batting judge second, third, fourth, like, whatever. I'm curious, like, if you think he should, like, change it up uh, now that the offense is struggling a little bit. Thanks for the call. You know, before the season, I was staunchly opposed to Aaron Judge hitting in front of Juan Soto because Juan Soto is an on-base machine and Aaron Judge is a home run hitter. And my thought was, and this is obviously the Yankees' thought too, let guys get on base. Let Soto get on base 40% of the time for Judge in the first inning. And Soto's doing his job. He's getting on base. He's leading the league in on-base percentage. Last I checked, it was at like 460-something, but Judge isn't hitting. Now, maybe Judge needs to get better pitches to hit. He's not getting much to hit. He's getting a lot of sliders low and away. And unfortunately, he's not laying off of them. So, you know, one option is to maybe flip-flop those guys for the time being so that he gets a little bit of protection in the order. And then once he heats up, you switch it back. But uh, thanks for the call. It's an interesting scenario, and it'll be interesting to see what Aaron Boone decides to do. I don't think he's going to change it anytime soon. Eddie, Bronx, Yankee. Uh, the way Miller pitched, the way he closed the game for Oakland, I think instead of playing Frank Sinatra at the end, New York, New York, they should play Linda Ronstadt, Blue Bayou. He was throwing 100, one-on-one, 
102. You guys have a good day. Yeah, Mason Miller is going to be a target this trade deadline. The guy's got some of the nastiest stuff that I've ever seen in terms of fastball. The slider was sharp, too. He actually hung one to Aaron Judge. I was hoping Judge would put it in the bleachers. But, yeah, I mean, you don't see guys come in and dominate Juan Soto with the fastball the way he did. Unbelievable. So the Oakland A's, well, we should have them by the Nuggets. But uh, (laughs) as John Sterling used to say, and I used to actually get very annoyed when he used to say this, but it's so damn true. You can't predict baseball, Susan. And – I would like to see them do a lot better with the Oakland Athletics, but uh, it's not turning all that well. J.P. Sears certainly has come into his own. I think he's the only decent thing that came out of that big trade that they had with A's. So, um, yeah, you just can't automatically assume that the Yankees are going to sweep the A's just because they're a horrible team. So there's a lot of teams out there that are doing horrible, like the Astros. And then there's teams that we thought that would really suck, like the Mets really started bad, and now they're kind of coming to their own. So it's going to be an interesting season. Appreciate the call. Still think we got to beat the A's. Still think we got to win all four from the A's. But, uh, hey, it is what it is. That's baseball. Hey, we got way more voicemails than I could get to today. We had like 65 voicemails last night. I mean, people are just ticked off. So I tried to choose uh, the ones that I you know, could reasonably make something out of uh, some of them bad reception, and, and some of them you couldn't really make out what people were saying. But uh, I appreciate everybody who took the time in to call. Keep calling in, and we'll see you next time. I'll see you after the game. Ball game.